Imagine being the best junior athlete your sport has ever known. A world record holder in two different weight classes, having beaten the best marks of some of the most legendary athletes in your sport at 18 years old. Imagine progressing so much, so fast, that you can legitimately see yourself becoming the best that ever was. You'd feel invincible, wouldn't you? As most insanely talented people, Zakarevich progressed fast, really fast. At 16 years old, weighing 82 and a half kilos, he totaled 335 kilos. At 17 years old, he totaled 382 and a half kilos, weighing 90 kilos. That's roughly 95% of the world record. And at 18 years old, having bulked up all the way to 96 and a half kilos, he totaled 425 kilos, beating the 100 kilo world record of the time unofficially. This should give you a pretty good idea of how good he was. In 1981, Yuri Zakarevich debuted internationally for the USSR as a senior in the 90 kilo class. Just one year earlier, the biggest legend in weightlifting history this far, David Rigert, competed for the last time internationally in the Olympics in this very same 90 kilo class. While he ended up making no lift there, he is one of the men that pushed the records the furthest. In 1978, he totaled 397 and a half kilos, snatching 180 kilos and clean jerking 217 and a half kilos his best result ever internationally at 90 kilos. In his very first world championships, Yuri totaled 397 and a half kilos, the same total with the same snatch and the same clean and jerk. He was 18 years old. From this day on, he went and just kept progressing at a rate that seems almost unrealistic. In two years, Yuri broke 21 world records in two different weight classes the 90 kilo class and the 100 kilo class. He medaled twice at Worlds and European Championships, once at 90 kilos, once at 100 kilos. It all seemed to come nicely going into the Los Angeles Olympics. In 1983, he snatched 200 kilos at 100 kilos. At this point, the world record of the 110 kilo class was 196 and a half by Leonid Taranenko the reigning Olympic champion of the heavyweight class. And the all-time best snatch this far was 202.5 kilos held by the legendary Anatoly Pisarenko. Meaning that Yuri was the best snatcher the sport had ever seen. But going into the 1983 Pannonia Cup in Hungary, he went on to approach his 22nd world record when this happened. Yuri had been competing pretty often, more often than he should have, and didn't mention to the coaches that he felt more tired than usual and that he might need to take a break. This dramatic injury is rare to come by and rare to come back from, so he was told he'd never lift again. But Zakharovich was different. A few years after his retirement, journalists asked him about his injury in 1983. Here's what he said. First, I thought, hell, that's the end of the world. Today, in retrospect, I can see it was one of the major turning points in my career. It made me realize that there is a time in everyone's life when you must clench your teeth together and your fate only depends on your determination. Finally, I overcame the injury because I wanted to lift again so much. And later on, I achieved even better results than before. It was a great thing. After all, no time to whine and cry about an injury when you've got glory on your mind. Not when the Olympics are around the corner. So the doctors rebuilt his elbow with a synthetic tendon and he was back on track. Despite the Soviet team being the heavy favorite to win many events in the 84 Olympics, the USSR will boycott LA 84 to answer the American boycott of the Moscow Olympics four years prior. So another competition will be held instead, the Friendship Games. Zakharevich will compete there in his newfound weight class at 110 kilos. And some 15 months after his elbow injury, he'll snatch a new world record of 200 and a half kilos 
but lose the gold medal to Leonid Tornenko, reigning Olympic champion and future all-time clean jerk world record holder in the Super Heavies. From there on, Yuri was unstoppable. From 1984 to 1988, Yuri Zakarevich won three world championships, five European championships, and broke 12 new world records. At this point, no one even came close to him, until someone did. In 1987, a youngster clean and jerk 250 kilos, the junior, taking on the world record from Yuri. This 250 kilo clean and jerk is to this day the heaviest weight put overhead by any junior lifter ever and it was done at 110 kilos. No super heavy weight ever surpassed it. So this newcomer from Bulgaria seemed to be the next big thing. And one year away from the Olympics, Stefan Botev finally pushed Zakarevich, more than he might have ever been. But once again, Yuri had this thing that only champions can claim, unequaled confidence. So in the bus to the competition hall during the 88 Europeans, Antonio Krastev, best snatcher ever will tell Zakarevich about just how good Botev was in training. 210 kilo snatch, 260 kilo clean jerk. He didn't really care. What matters is the stage. So all he answered Krastev was to be careful to not get outlifted by a guy some 30 kilos lighter than him. A few days later, Zakarevich will total 454 kilo, the second best heavyweight total of all time. And Botev will play second with a respectable 437.5 kilo total. Yuri was still the best. With a 252.5 kilo attempt though, Botev showed that he would be able to catch Zakarevich on a bad day, and maybe even on a good day. Sadly, we'll never see how their showdown would have ended up looking in Seoul. Team Bulgaria is forced to withdraw some lifters due to some positive tests, and Botev isn't allowed to compete there. Regardless, Yuri Zakarevich is fully peaked and in for show. So come Seoul, he opens at 195 kilos, an easy opener. He did want to open at 200 kilos, but the coaches refused to take too many risks on what was essentially a free win. And sure enough, he smoked it. On to 205 kilos for two kilo world record. and he smoked it, again. Now, that's where most lifters would sub. A two kilo world record, no one even remotely close to you, with the clean and jerks to come, most would just keep the third attempt, but not him, not Zakarevich. Bar 462 and three quarter pounds. We're back live, 25 year old Soviet superstar. He's won the world championships three times, there's no question, this man has charismatic ability to encourage gravity to take a vacation. Let's watch. If successful, he'll smash that world record again. Here he goes. Yuri Zakarevich from the Soviet Union, once again, defying gravity. 210 kilos, weighing only 110 kilos. For the few Americans that will watch this, it's 460 pounds put overhead in one movement while weighing right around 240 pounds. It's almost impossible to describe how incredible this record is. Actually, only one man ever outsnatched this by Sinclair, and it's literally the best snatch ever by Blagojev. 195 and a half kilos, weighing 90 kilos. But the absolute weight of this snatch is what wins it for me. In the last 20 years, only nine snatches were recorded at 210 kilos or more, in the Olympics, and they were all made by super heavyweights, all way over 140 kilos of body weight. Zakarevich did it at exactly 109.55 kilos. So with only the clean jerk left, no competition, and having quite literally pulled out one of the greatest feat of strength in history, he opened at a pretty reasonable 245 kilos, five and a half kilos under his own world record. And he makes it, put a total world record on the board and secure the gold. He'll then go on and attempt a clean and jerk world record twice, missing both attempts. Had he made it, he would now be ranked as the second best weightlifter of all time, 
only ever surpassed by Naim Sulemanoglu. But with the pressure off and three new world records in the bag, his head just wasn't in it anymore. So that was it. A 455 kilo total, 10 kilos over what any non-super heavyweight lifter had ever done and have ever done still. A few months later, he competed in his first ever and only super heavyweight competition. You see, he didn't take Krustev disrespect from the Europeans very well and he needed to teach him a lesson. So, in a pretty obscure competition in Australia, a barely overweight and slightly out of shape Yuri Zakarevich went on to compete against a 140-ish kilo Krustev. And he beat him. So, that was it. 88 was done and Yuri had cemented himself as one of if not the absolute best weightlifter on the planet. One year before the Olympics, Zakarevich talked to a journalist, mentioning how tired he was. He had competed internationally for over a decade by then, and went through the most traumatic injury a weightlifter could ever go through. The window seemed to revive his love for competition, and so after a few short months of break, he'll get back to competition at the 89 Worlds and European Championships, finally facing Botev again after some time off. He will destroy him in the snatch with 202.5 kilos against a pretty weak 185 from the Bulgarian, but a new contender appeared, Ronnie Weller, a 19 years old German boy, bronze at the Olympics the year prior. And so, for the first time since his own teenage years, Zakarevich will lose the snatch goal. Weller will snatch 202.5 kilos too at a lighter body weight. But the clean jerk went south for both of the snatch leaders, both bombing out and leaving the door open for Botev's first major win. The same year, Weller will manage a massive 205 kilo snatch, the heaviest snatch ever made by a junior lifter. So the youngsters were on the come up, but Yuri wasn't going to let himself down. He was the champ, the best ever. And with utmost confidence, he will show up to the 1990 Europeans to reclaim his throne. Once again, he enters the competition with a solid snatch, 200 kilos, beating Botev again, this time by 5 kilos. But a newcomer, Gelishkanov, dropping from the super heavyweights, beat him by 2.5 kilos, a second silver snatch medal in a row for the best heavyweight snatcher of all time. Yuri will then go on to secure the first place with 242.5 kg lift on his third attempt. Or so that's what he thought. Botev had opened the cleanser pretty light with 230 kilos. And at this point, he would need 250 kilos, a 20 kilo jump to beat him, which doesn't seem realistic. But once again, Botev was here to catch any mistake made by Yuri Zakarevich. And with an unbelievably solid 250 kilo clean jerk, he beat the Olympic champion again for the second time in a row. And so that was it. Zakarevich will never compete again internationally after this day. Rumors are that he would have wanted to push through to the 92 Olympics, but was held back by Alexeyev, legendary coach and lifter of the Soviet team known for his controversial handling of the Soviet team in the 90s. So, is that rumor true? Probably, but it doesn't really matter now. Over nine short years, Yuri Zakarevich will set 38 world records, win three world championships, five European championships, play second at the Friendship Games and win one Olympic gold. He set the all-time best non-super heavyweight total, snatch, and clean jerk, the best sub heavyweight total ever, and the fifth best total ever across all weight classes. At 20 years old, he suffered from the worst injury anyone could go through in his sport. So if you can take anything away from his life, take resilience. In sport and in life, meeting obstacles is a given. You could decide that it's the end of the world, but as Zakarevich said, sometimes you must clench your teeth together and push through. Determination always wins.